Hello, my name is Andrew Hall, and I'm the Career Related and Diploma Programs Coordinator here at Lehigh Valley Academy. In the following presentation, I will be introducing you to the 11th and 12th grade years at LVA and what options your child will have should they choose to attend LVA. LVA is proud to offer the International Baccalaureate Programs, providing a solid program of study that balances practical and academic learning through real-world issues. LVA is one of three schools in the United States to offer all four programs. The career-related and diploma programs here at LVA have a high success rate of preparing students for college. Not only does LVA prepare these students for college, but it has helped them thrive academically and socially in college and beyond. If you are looking for an education that will prepare your child for success and develop their confidence and ambition, I invite you to learn more about LVA's career-related and diploma programs. If you have questions after this presentation, you can visit our website for more information about our programs. Thank you for your interest in Lehigh Valley Academy. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn more about LVA's career-related and diploma programs. The following presentation will detail the course of study for the two programs, discuss the differences between the two programs, and introduce you to the various course options students have here at LVA. Should you have any questions, there will be time at the end of the presentation. We will begin by talking about the career-related program here at LVA. The first option at LVA is the career-related program. The requirements for the career-related program are, first of all, the core. And in the core, you have a class called Personal and Professional Skills, where you will learn skills to survive in the workplace and college, like resume writing, interview skills, those kinds of things. You also have a service learning component that is 50 hours. This will also be done in your personal and professional skills class. You have language development, will be, which will be done through your DP language course that you're required to take. And you also have your reflective project. This is a 3,000 word essay where you talk about an ethical issue in your potential field that you want to go into. Part two of the career-related program is the career-related study. This has two options, either Project Lead the Way Biomedical or Project Lead the Way Engineering. Part three of the career-related program requirements is the diploma program courses you are required to take. You were, are required to take four diploma program courses in the career-related program. All students are required to take English at the higher level you have a choice of French, Mandarin, or Spanish. You have a choice of history, psychology, or global politics, all three of which are offered at either the standard or higher level. You also have choice of an elective. Please note, however, that all Project Lead the Way engineering students must take physics at the standard or higher level. All Project Lead the Way Biomedical students can choose any diploma program subject except for Sports, Exercise, and Health Science, Nature of Science, a Second Language B, or DP Mathematics. And the last part of your career-related program is Mathematics. So you have two tracks, College Algebra in 11th grade and Pre-Calculus in 12th grade. In order to take this, you have to have completed Algebra 2 and Geometry. And your other option is Calculus 1 in 11th grade and Calculus 2 in 12th grade. In order to take these courses, you must have completed pre-calculus in 10th grade. The second option for your junior and senior years at LVA is the diploma program. Like the career-related program, the diploma program also has a core. There is the Theory of Knowledge course. In this course, you learn about different areas of knowledge, different ways of knowing, and you look at how those relate to what you've learned over the past 13 years of school. You also have your CAS, which stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service. This is your community service component where you have to do activities or experiences that are creative in nature, that lead to a healthy lifestyle, and also benefit others, and also benefit you in the process. And you also have your extended essay, which is a 4,000 word essay that you write in a subject of your choosing. 
and it's done over your two years at LVI. Your diploma courses, you are required to take three standard level and three higher level courses. The difference between standard level and higher level is the amount of material and the pace at which the courses move. Higher level, more material, faster pace. Standard level, still a really fast pace and a difficult course, but there's less material to cover, so you get to spread it out over the two years a little bit better. You are allowed to take two standard level and four higher level courses with approval from the coordinator. Again, please see the subject videos for more information about each subject group. As you're looking at the course selections and you look at the subject videos, please note that some subjects are only offered at SL or HL. Diploma program students are required to take the following courses. All students must take English at the higher level. You have an option of French, Mandarin, or Spanish. You have the option of history, psychology, or global politics at the standard or higher level. You have the option of environmental systems and societies at the standard level, nature of science at the standard level, physics at the standard or higher level, and sports, exercise, and health science at the standard or higher level. You have the option of mathematics, applications, and interpretation at the standard or higher level, and mathematics, analysis, and approaches at the standard level. Your elective, you have the choice of design technology at the standard or higher level, film, only offered at the higher level, music at the standard or higher level, psychology at the standard or higher level, and note, if you take psychology for your group three, you cannot take it for your group six. And your last option for group six is visual arts at the standard or higher level. On this chart, you can kind of see the difference between the CP and the DP in terms of your goals. So if you want to go in the medical or engineering field, CP is a definite. Diploma program is a good choice. Careers in the humanities like English or teaching, um, the career-related program is probably not a good choice. If you like hands-on learning, CP is a definite. DP, some courses will be more hands-on. If you want to go to four-year college, CP and DP, both great. Desire for two-year programs, yes, if you're there engineering or medical-related for the CP, possibly for the diploma program. You'll do fine in a two-year program with the diploma program. However, it might be over-preparing you for a two-year program. Please note that CP is not an easier alternative to DP. I like to give the example of DP does the sports exercise health science in two years, whereas CP does that course in one semester. So it is definitely not easier. It's just different. CP is very similar to having a major. So you should really only choose it if you want to go into the biomedical or into the engineering fields. Both CP math courses and DP math courses are challenging, but in different ways. So if you look at math, for example, in CP, you're focusing on one topic. For example, calculus. In DP, you focus on many different topics. Both will allow you to earn an IB credential. Both allow you to earn your high school diploma and also to earn college credit for the IB exams. LVA offers a variety of courses to provide students with a truly well-rounded education. The next part of the presentation will detail the courses we offer for the junior and senior year. All students at LVA take the English course, the literature course, at the higher level. This course is a two-year course where students study 13 works of literature from different time periods, multiple places, and different genres. It is an advanced literary analysis course, and it focuses on writing for literature. Each of the DP courses has a major writing component, even math, 
where they focus on writing for that particular subject. This presentation will go over your options for group two or your options for your foreign language courses. So you have two options if you've taken French or Spanish before. You can go into French B or Spanish B and those courses are organized around five themes. Identities, experiences, human ingenuity, social organization, and sharing the planet. Unlike your courses in ninth and 10th grade, you will use these themes to explore the grammatical structures and vocabulary of the language. The difference between the two levels, SL and HL, is in vocabulary and grammatical structure. Also, the higher level course is taught almost entirely in the target language, about 98% to 100% of the time. And the SL course is taught in the target language about 75 to 80% of the time. Both courses um, and levels will use different kinds of texts, personal, professional, and mass media. In addition to those texts, students in higher level are responsible for two works of literature in the target language, a novel, a group of short stories, a group of poems, a drama, etc. For the grammar and vocabulary section, there is a textbook, but most of your materials actually come from real life publications. In order to take French or Spanish B at either the standard or higher level, you must have taken the language in ninth and 10th grade, not just one of the years. We also offer French and Spanish ab initio standard level. You are able to switch languages from your MYP language. If you decide to switch, you must take ab initio. This is an introductory level course. It is not for students who have had the language before or who are native speakers. In order to take this course, it's assumed that you've had little or no exposure to the language. You may switch between French and Spanish. You may switch from Mandarin to French or Spanish, but you may not switch into Mandarin from French or Spanish. Again, French and Spanish ab initio standard level are organized around the five themes and each theme will have four prescribed topics. And it's through these topics that you are taught vocabulary and grammatical structures. So again, you are able to switch languages, um, but you are not able to switch into Mandarin from French or Spanish. But if you are currently taking Mandarin, you are able to switch over to French or Spanish. And just like French or Spanish, Mandarin is organized into these themes and then has the four prescribed topics where you are taught your vocabulary and grammatical structure. This presentation will go over your options for your social studies course. So you have quite a few options. All of our options for social studies are taught at the SL and HL level. Global politics and psychology are both mixed classes where SL and HL are taught together. History SL and history HL are taught separately. So the first course we'll talk about is global politics. So as the name suggests, you'll be looking at political issues from different aspects of humanities, the history, the psychologies, the economics, um, any of those kind of social sciences. You're going to be engaging with different and new perspectives. It's not going to solely focus on United States politics, but in politics all around the world and how those different political systems interact. And the primary basis for your course will be real world examples and case studies. These are the core units in the Global Politics course for SL and HL. And then HL students will choose two of these here. Now again, these courses are taught combined. So even though SL isn't responsible for these in terms of IB, they will be learning them anyway. The History course is a course that looks at world history primarily and a very small time span. It's going to look at history from multiple perspectives and multiple disciplines, po politics, economics, uh, social history, cultural history, and it's not looking at a single interpretation, but rather multiple interpretations of 
historical events, specifically how they impacted countries and systems around the world. Here is the topics for SL and HO, and SL will cover a few topics um, and go less in-depth, and HL also has a component to it called History of the Americas, which SL will not necessarily study. And your last option, psychology, is looking at human behavior. Um, it's going to be a combination of natural and social sciences, so there is going to be some biology here. It's going to look at ethics, um, specifically things like um, research and how ethics play a part in psychological research. This is the standard level course outline. And then this is the higher level course outline. As you can see, there's more. Again, these courses are taught together, meaning that the SL students will be learning the HL material as well. This presentation will cover your science options for 11th and 12th grade. So we'll start with the CP science options, and you really have two options, either biomedical or engineering. They're set up the same way. In your junior year, you have two courses, each lasts a semester. Each course meets every day for an hour and a half. So from August to January, you have the first course, and then January to June, you have the second course. So for biomed, you have principles of biomedical science in the first semester, and human body systems in the second semester. And then senior year, you have medical interventions, where that is a weighted course, meaning instead of 4.33 GPA points, it's 5.33 GPA points. Project Lead the Way Engineering, same thing. You have Intro to Engineering Design first semester, Principles of Engineering second semester, and then Environmental Sustainability during your senior year. For DP, your science options, Environmental Systems and Societies, Nature of Science, those two are only offered at the standard level. And then you have Physics and Sports Exercise Health Science, which are both offered at the standard and higher levels. Those courses are also taught separately. So SL and HL are taught separately. Environmental Systems and Societies, again, only offered at SL, is open to DP and CP Biomed students. It is a combination of science and social studies, and it looks at the science of the environment, so climate change, um, how the environment itself works. Um, you're also looking at the social impact, like the cultural, economic, ethical, political interactions of societies and the environment. It's also good for students who may want to study humanities in college or who might want to study environmentally based sciences. These are the topics for the environmental science course. Nature of science, just want to make sure everyone's clear, is not an easier science option. It's a science for students who like science, but they don't know which science they like. It is a mix of chemistry, physics, astronomy, food science, medicine, and environmental science. It's really good for students who aren't sure what science they want to study or if they want to study humanities in college. Please note this course is only open to DP students. This is the course outline for the two years of Nature of Science. Physics is offered at SL or HL, and remember this is required for any student who's taking Project Lead the Way Engineering as their career-related program. It's also open to Biomed students and DP students. It is math intensive. For that reason, we ask that students have an 80% in Algebra 2, and it's good for students who want to study engineering, chemistry, physics, or meteorology. And that's the SL course outline. And then the HL course outline. Sports, Exercise, and Health Science is a bio course that specifically focuses on human beings and movement and performance in sports. Any of the human medical fields, uh, this is a great course for those students. Bio is really important in this course and students should have at least attained an 80% in bio and like biology. Please note this course is only open to DP students.
This is the SL course outline. And the HL course outline. This presentation will go over your mathematics options for grades 11 and 12. We're going to start with the career related program math options. These options are only open to students who are taking the CP. And you have two tracks college algebra in 11th grade and pre calc in 12th grade, and calculus 1 in 11th grade and calculus 2 in 12th grade. While these courses follow the AP or Advanced Placement content, they are not going to be called AP, but students are able to take the AP exams. These courses are weighted and will appear on the, the transcript as Honors Calculus 1 and Honors Calculus 2. You have three options for GP Math, and these options, again, are only open to students who are in the diploma program. Applications and Interpretations, which is offered at the standard and higher level, and then Analysis and Approaches, which is only offered at the standard level. So here are the courses. The first one is Applications and Interpretations. Here at LVA, we simply call it Interpretations. This is math that looks at problems in a real-life way. It's great for students who want to go into social science, business, psychology, any of the non-math majors. And this is offered at SL and HL. And here's a breakdown of the topics and the hours spent on those topics. You'll note that unlike your MYP math, uh, the DP math subjects are a lot of the different maths together. It doesn't focus on one math. And you can see how SL and HL differs. While they both cover the same topics, HL obviously will go in depth more and cover more topics within the major topic. And it will move a little bit faster than the SL. The second option for DP math is analysis and approaches. At LVA, we refer to this course as simply analysis. This course is really for students who enjoy math and who are very strong in math. It's also for students who want to study the following subjects, math, engineering, physics, chemistry, economics. It is, however, only offered at the standard level. And here you can see a breakdown of the course content for the analysis SL course. Here's a graph comparing all three of the math options. One thing that's really important to note is that all subjects will have calculus. It just differs on how much calculus content the course will have. This presentation is going to outline your elective choices that you have for 11th and 12th grade. Remember, everyone gets an elective except CP if you chose the engineering pathway, your elective is chosen for you, and it is physics. So it's important to note film is the only elective here that is offered only at one level, and that level is higher level. All the other courses are offered at standard and higher level. Also, psychology will not be part of this presentation because it's the same course that's offered in the group three or your social studies choice. Just know that if you choose psychology for your social studies, you cannot choose it for your elective. So design technology offered at SL and HL. It's offered in the same class, so SL and HL is combined. It's good for students who want to enter the STEM or STEAM field. HL will study more topics in depth and will have a longer design project. It's important to note that it is very different than your MYP design tech course. It's much more focused in writing than projects. There are actual tests, there are essays, your design project can be 30, 40, 60 pages long. It is a much, much different course, so please keep that in mind. Students who switch out of this often switch out because it's not what they expected. Film. Again, only offered at HL. It is very much an English class. 
some films are going to be R-rated or not rated, and they are required viewing by IB, so you need to make sure you're going to be able to watch those films. It is very much a writing-based course. Yes, you will be making movies. However, there's a lot of writing that goes along with it. There is a major production piece to this course, obviously, and it is required that it's done as a group, and it's done outside of class time for the most part. So please keep that in mind as well. Music can be taken at the SL or HL level, and again, those are combined. You must have had band or choir in ninth or 10th grade. If you did not, you'll have to submit a portfolio to the music department to be able to take this course at the DP level. It is not solely based on performance. There's a lot of research, there's creating or composing, and there is also a performance piece as well. Uh, the main difference here really is HL is going to have one additional assessment task for the IB. Visual arts, again, standard or higher level in the same class. The main difference is number of artworks, length of assignments, and the skills being assessed between SL and HL will differ. You have to have had art in ninth or 10th grade and should have had about an 80% in those courses to be successful. Again, if you haven't had art before and want to take visual arts, you will have to develop a portfolio of artwork and show that to the art department to see if you would be eligible to take visual arts at the DP level or not. I want to repeat some of the information from the enrollment sessions because I think it is important to consider it when making an educational choice. So why would someone choose LVA's career-related or diploma program? Often parents cite the challenging academic curriculum that all students receive. There's a student-centered approach here at LVM. We focus on international mindedness and that global perspective. It is a world-renowned academic preparation that universities regularly cite as best preparing students for higher education. CP and CB graduates excel at university and often begin their studies with advanced standing and they far outperform their peers in college. Time and time again, when our alumni come back to us to tell us how they're doing at college, they cite their preparedness because they have these skills here. Analytical writing, communication, and presentation skills, lots of research experience, organization, and time management. They can approach a topic from multiple perspectives. They have a deep understanding of academic concepts. And most importantly, all of our graduates are college and career ready. And here you can see a small sampling of where LVA alumni have attended college or work they've done after high school.